Hello and welcome to Official Strongman News. I'm your host, Chris Bland, and once again I'm going to be going over what's been going on in the world of Strongman over the last seven days. Also, probably what we're going to talk about more is what's coming up in the next seven days, which is an awful lot. Starting off, we have Strongman's Champions League is throwing, I want to call it the Viking Challenge, or something along those lines. Strongest Viking Norway, maybe. Either or, it's going to be a good competition, should be very exciting. Um, I believe last year they had, I think that was the one where Thor broke some silly, ridiculous world record, not insulting it in any way, it was fantastic, with like 16 trees strapped to his back. Proper, sort of, obscure shit, but it was funny to watch and it was damn impressive. Uh, very similar to a super yoga, and I think they'll be doing similar sort of crazy things with this one. Um, I know one of the events is going to be rather spectacular in that effect. So, first event is the Hercules Hold, just straight out, hold out. Uh, Viking Longboat Pull, that's the one that'll be a little bit different. It's um, pretty much as the name says, it's usually on snow, and the guys just pull a giant Viking boat. It's, yeah, for about 20 meters, it's crazy to watch. Um, oh, sorry, Hercules Hold, by the way, is they're usually doing it like that and holding pillars up. Oddly, they actually have two hold events, um, sort of that static, tenacity, I suppose. Uh, the next one is front hold with swords, which um, we saw at the Islands and Strongman Championship very recently, followed by the power stairs. Again, a uh, very interesting event. For those of you who don't know it, it's basically climbing some stairs with a giant, giant kettlebell, or what it's more likely to be is a duck walk implement. Then the Viking press, followed by the Atlas Stones. Um, big lineup actually this year. Um, like I said, I believe, although I'm not 100% sure on this, guys, I'm not 100% up to date with my Strongman's Champions League, sinful I know. Um, but I think Thor won this last year, but this year we have Christoph Rajkowski, their current champion. Uh, Danis Sejiris, who I think came second. Johan Espen Krona from Sweden. Jo Ole Martin Hansen, Norway. Stefan Solvi Peterson, who is on fantastic form. He's back, he's properly back, it's really great to see. Um, he actually broke, was it, it was on the Guinness, Guinness seems to have got into the world records of Strongman and we'll get over to that in a short little bit, but yeah, he did 400 kilo farmer's walk, so I imagine that'd be 200 each hand, not 100% on that, I, well, doubt it was 400 per hand, um, and what did he do, 20 meters, 0.67, so yeah, he's damn good and he seems to be back on form, um, so glad to see him back competing again, if I'm honest. Next up, we have J.F. Caron of Canada, Matt Jess Belsack from Slovenia, just signed to Giants Pro, um, Jorgen Skork Auckland from Norway, he was competing at Giants Live, Europe's Strongest Man Under 105, and he did damn well, he, um, he won it the year before, and he's a great competitor, so really good to see him competing in the open weights. John Olof Granley from Norway, again mate, I imagine I butchered that name. One I'm very excited to see is Aaron Page from England. Uh, Aaron's currently the leader on the log, training at Winning Health Solutions, and I think he, what is it, a 200 kilo log he's throwing above his head? Definitely, definitely one to watch in the future. Getting a lot stronger each year, and with things like a 200 kilo log going up, big things coming from him. Antti Murahavi um, from Finland, we saw him compete at Giants Live in Sweden, and then someone that I've Absolutely love, I think he's fantastic. Bjorn Andre Solvang, definitely one to watch on that Viking press. Guy's got some of the strongest shoulders going, incredible, especially for a guy that size. Um, I might have a slight man crush on him, I think he's fantastic. Moving on, next competition that we have going is Giants Live, Britain's Strongest Man. Obviously been talking a lot about this, a lot of build up, this is our event, we're very excited. Um, if you've not got tickets for it, get yourself over to officialstrongman.com forward slash livestream and use the promo code EAR, like EAR5, and that's caps lock, and that's a number. Um, so we have added, we've got the full lineup this time now, guys. This whole thing all set up. So we have Eddie Hall, who won it last year. Mark Felix, who was second last year. Lawrence Charley, he's won it before. I believe so is Terry Hollands, but he might have got a second. Not 100% sure on that. I've got it written down. Um, we've got... Oh, memory don't fail me. Now, Luke Stoltman, back from Korea. We've got Adam Bishop making a return. Rob Frampton, not a return, just general Adam Bishop there. Uh, Rob Frampton, 
Uh, Mark Jeans, Jeans, don't know I'm pronouncing it like he's French, uh, Welsh strongman, Wales strongest man, and Johnny Kelly from Ireland, the guy that won the Irish Strongman Championships. Um, we have, of course, Darren Sadler making his return to the strongman scene. Very, very excited to say that. Um, should be great to see how he does. Pocket Rocket making a return. And then two new guys. We have both obviously making it an international, as it should be. We've got... So these won't count towards Britain's Strongest Man, but it is also a qualifier for World's Strongest Man. So these two guys are going to get their chance. One is Freddy Gonzalez, um, a Cuban strongman who sort of spent a lot of time in Spain and is not currently, but has been before, Spain's Strongest Man. Former arm wrestling champion. I think he's done a bit of bodybuilding, a bit of powerlifting. I think he plays American football occasionally. Guy seems to do everything. But 200 kilos. Yeah, 200 kilos. 440 pounds and 40 years old. Should be a really good show. Uh, and the next guy is a 35-year-old called Roberto Rodriguez. Um, current Spain's strongest man. So Spain's a country you don't see a lot of strong men coming out of. Well, on the world stage anyway, and it's fantastic to do all we can to sort of encourage that and really looking forward to see these guys. Um, moving on, we are talking before about Guinness getting into the world records of strongman. They did a little bit in the past and they seem to have sort of left it alone for a little bit, um, which depending on your views is either good or bad, but anything that really happens to promote the sport I think is fantastic. Except actually the costumes that they made, Thor and um, Big Z wear. For, they did a fridge carry. It was a 925 pound fridge, I believe. 955 pounds? Um, 992 pounds. In, um, and they had to carry it 20 meters. Big Z stumbled, sadly, um, and so had to put it down, pick it up again. He'd managed that in 30 seconds. Thor, however, no such hesitation, and was off the mark immediately. Flew through it. Uh, you can watch this on YouTube, actually. I'll put the link up, and he did it in 19.6. Uh, the other thing that's going on, obviously it's not just yet, but it's coming up shortly, is 2016 Arnold's. We went over last week all of the com all the events and all of the sort of the competitions, do, 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 the competitors, sorry, not the competitions, but we mentioned that the LA Fit Expo was having the last place decided there. And it was won by, oh, I'm going to butcher his name again, and everyone in Russia, I apologize to this, Mikhail Shivalikayov, who, um, there was three events at the LA Fit Expo that um, qualified you for it. There was Dumbbell, uh, Dumbbell Medley, which he won, followed by the Super Yoke, which was won by, and I'm going to forget his name, which is absolutely appalling, uh, Nick Best who obviously competed last year at Britain's Strongest Man as one of the um, international invites. So he won the super yoke, and then on the deadlift, uh, Mikhail just took it at three, 385 kilos, which is potentially the heaviest deadlift ever wearing a beret. Putting it out there. So it'll be fantastic to see what he does. Um, the guys are looking really, really strong at the moment in um, all the way through this. A lot of strong guys, um, obviously Big Z, Lalas come back on very much, huge amounts of form. Eddie Hall, Bjornsson. Um, but one who's looking very strong is Mateus Klikowski. Um, guy's been throwing up some training footage that I uh, was watching on Starting Strongman the website, great website, startingstrongman.com. And um, guy looks on great form, pressing the log out for something like six reps, uh, the competition weight log. Um, working his way through... He looked so easy on the yoke. Uh, there's a kid running about in front of him and he like, made get out of the way. This guy's moving fast. So yeah, he did fantastic on that. Um, moving on, guys, that's pretty much what's been happening in that side of the world of Strongman over the last few days. On officialstrongman.com, however, we've had a lot of changes. Um, the one that I'm most excited about is a guy called, and let me just find his name, Oh, man, I'm very sorry for this, but it's a huge lift. Uh, Chesmere Seema, and he put up a 420 kilo deadlift on here. Um, gets him seventh on the site. Um, I think that's overall as well. It's absolutely fantastic. And that's with no suit, 
and no straps. Huge, huge lift. Um, obviously, when we're having our deadlift championships, he's going to be getting an invite with stuff like that. Um, Colin was talking to him on the site, uh, left a comment, and he was like, yeah, I'll, um, I'll throw a suit on and try some straps, see if they help. And he's like, yeah, yeah, do that, mate. You're going to go a long, long way. Also has a 190 kilo log, which, fantastic. So definitely excited to see what he can pull out of the bag. Um, we had Kim Siverston. Again, if I butchered your name, I'm very sorry. One of the lighter weight guys. And he's in the, what weight category is he? He's the 80 kilos, same category as me. And he pulled 255 kilos. That's over three times body weight. A huge lift. Um, putting that into perspective, I also uploaded my own video to the site this week. 205, I'm getting shamed by 50 kilos. And he got fit. So yeah, some really strong guys in this lighter weight category, including one that I meant to show off a while ago and never did. And that is Mike Neal, who threw up a eight, he's again, 80 kilo competitor, and he threw up a 135 kilo log. Um, incredible, really, really incredible. Mike actually is someone that when we're doing, I think it's gonna be the European Log and Deadlift Championships, we're going to hopefully do um, make a little sort of mini Pumping Iron style documentary on him. It uh, should be really interesting. Just sort of, when it's a niche of a niche sport, I find it fascinating. It's the sort of thing that could hopefully draw in a few more of the outside people into the sport, get them looking around at sort of the other aspects of it that isn't just, no offence, but the very heaviest guys lifting this ridiculous weights, which don't get me wrong, going to watch Britain's this weekend and I can't wait to see that but it's all also nice to see that it's a sport that anyone can get involved in anyway i'm rambling last thing to say uh we've been doing a lot of talk lately about the film that we've made with official strongman uh journey of strength i put the trailer up on here a little bit ago it's on the facebook on the facebook's jesus it's on facebook on the official strongman page put it up quite a few places well the premiere of that is now sorted we've got a date set and that's on the 5th of march